Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. So, anyway, um, those of you in the Midwest, uh, Central and Northern Midwest, uh, our heart goes out to you. Um, it's like two major disasters in the last week or two. One was the typhoon in the Philippines, and um, now we have a major storm in the United States. But, um, I mean, look, if we had you know, a camper van or something like that, we had the money, we would drive out there and, you know, help you all at least a little bit, um, you know, pick stuff up, move stuff around, uh, help, you know, cook food and stuff like that, but we're... We barely get by as it is. Um, hold on a second. Lucky. That's not your food. Hey, hey. Yeah, keep him out there. Let me make it sick. He's eating kitty cat Eat. food. <laughs> cat food. No. Um. But, um, anyway, for Kat, uh, you said um, you would uh, probably stay in a hotel. Okay, that's not bad. Um, uh, the problem is we don't have a hotel close. No. Lucky, 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 lucky. The closest thing I can think of would be, what's this place down here, this farm? Uh, East Hill. East Hill Farm. That's extremely expensive, e though. Yeah, that would be expensive. Um, we don't have a hotel in town. No. There used to be. There used to be several, I believe. Well, that was a long time ago. And I don't want to say that, that full coach and four motor in. No. Thing, that thing was uh, uh, like people live there. Yeah, the closest would probably be Kane. Um... You know, I would think the closest would be Keene. Can you think of anything else? Mm. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else close, even. No. So, but, um, hey, if you're, if you stay in Keene, then, you know, when you're not spending time with us, you would have things to do. I mean, you could do things in Keene, depending on, of course, when you came up here, uh, because if you came up, let's say, in January or February, oh, you God. might not want to go outside. You might not even want to go open the door. Yeah. Um, no, Lucky, you can't have cat food. Um, he thinks he's a cat. Um, he's just a pig. Yeah, he is. Maggie will smack him. No, uh -huh. he, he saw Maggie. Maggie looked at him and he came back in here. Um, Maggie's like, yeah, you better leave me alone. Yeah. Um, or you're going to get walked. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, there's this big storm in the Midwest, and I don't know, but it's making me... Nervous. Yeah. And uh, so I went down to the basement, and I was able to find two fuel canisters, but I didn't find the grill. Um... I thought I found another uh, plastic crate, near, I mean shallow plastic crate, but it had stuff in it. And if anybody wants to complain about our stuff, our neighbors at the end, their situation, at least currently, is worse than ours. So. Well, it's all over the place down there. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. You know, and she's moved out and found, she's had at least two different places, and none of them have worked out for whatever reason. I don't think she really wants to leave. That's personally how I feel about it. I think she's too much of a drug addict. To yeah. She probably doesn't even pay the rent. Like yeah. He pays the rent. I don't think she pays the rent. No, I mean, when she's out on her own. Oh, yeah. So, um... 
So anyway, so hopefully, you know, I mean, I notice the storm is like in the middle and northern part of the Midwest, not the southern. Like it's not in Texas, not in Louisiana. It's central and northern. So. Anyway, so I saw this uh, picture on Facebook somebody put up. Some people went went out and just killed a bunch of coyotes. Uh -huh. there it goes. Now, we have a coyote running around the neighborhood. Yeah, but... Yeah, I'm not worried about him. He comes and goes. Yeah. Well, we live out in the country. Now, <coughs> if I saw that coyote... Probably somebody seen him walking through the neighborhood. It's probably what the proof of the matter is. Yeah. I mean, if I saw him, I'd watch him because I'd like to see him. Um, I wouldn't bother him. You know, if I saw him going after a pet, I'd come in, get a gun, and fire it into the ground. I wouldn't necessarily shoot him. Scare um, him. Yeah, I'd just do something to scare him. But then I look at all those comments of people saying, oh, well, you know, the people who shot those coyotes, they should be killed. Their children should be killed. I'm like, you people on the left are scary, man. You are really scary. People like me and my wife, we don't go out and shoot people. We don't want to shoot people. But you on the left, you sure want to do it. I'm like, geez, man, you got some, you got some problems there. And um, as for a Dave Ridley video I watched yesterday. People who are abusive to animals, I might shoot you, but... Yeah. <laughs> Um, just lay off of it, man. Damn, I mean, uh, I don't abuse animals. I don't know who this guy is in Keene that I don't know. He looks like he's one of the homeless people, but I don't know. Um, I don't think I've ever seen him before. I don't think I've ever heard of him before. That one guy, that Italian-looking guy, you don't see him anymore. No, the short guy. No, you don't. He had AIDS. Oh. Yeah. Um. But whoever this other guy is, um, I don't know who he is. Uh, frankly, uh, Garrett getting punched by this guy, if that's what happened, Garrett probably deserved it. Um, you know, some of these activists in Keene need to learn a thing or two uh, about what actually works and what doesn't work. Is you know, what you're doing it obviously isn't working. You're not getting anything accomplished, so uh, you know you're just a bunch of bullies is all you are, and you wonder why people leave Keene, activists leave Keene, and go elsewhere to to be involved with activism. Uh, you wonder why people want nothing to do with you. You wonder why uh, you don't accomplish anything, and you all are a bunch of. Um, Ian Freeman's minions, Ian Bernard's minions. You do what he tells you to do, even if you don't realize it. But, um, I just don't have any respect for you. And I don't know what else I can say about that. I just don't have any respect for you. I wish I did have respect for you. Now, there are some people, you know, like I saw people involved with cop block. I respect what they were doing. Um, but some of you are just I think you have some thought disorders I mean seriously I think you have some real serious problems but anyway so um, I guess later on um, once we find out what's going on with the storm if it's going to look like we're going to actually get hit by it then maybe we'll both go back down to the basement and look for it I don't well, know do me any good to go to Oh, that's right. Because my wife, guess what happened to my wife's glasses? Don't tell me. Oh, we're not going to tell you. Um, they disappeared in the middle of the night and we think the cats ate them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, maybe I'll go back down there later on. Because I, I swear I thought it was just in this one little area. I think they're all close together. Yeah, so. <coughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll have to. Of course, if I had glasses, it would help too. But well, at least you can see them. Yeah. Very right now. So, but hopefully my wife will get her glasses this week. Maybe tomorrow. It'll be yeah, really I'll nice. Call them tomorrow and see what. Yeah. Um. 
So anyway, bye.